So we have a kind of utility command called uh, wibble tool. Uh, so let's have a look at that. Oops, uh, I meant to do wibble help tool. Uh, and basically, uh, it allows you to kind of show some statistics or just to dump a list of kind of the, the notes that we have in the database. Um, so let, let's, uh, it's just a lot easier to demonstrate this and talk about it. If I do wibble tool, uh, short option would be T or the long option would be RG title. This will use rip grep and it just literally dumps a list of all of the note titles, you know, so typically the kind of title of the note is going to be one of the most, if not the, the most important uh, kind of pieces of metadata you put on all of the notes that you add to the um, database. So basically just to clarify, these are all of the, the kind of main notes that we've added using Wibble Create from kind of earlier on these videos. So these are not the quick notes, you know, for the, the quick notes you, you use the Wibble quick note ls command and it will list the, the different uh, segments, the, the different sections uh, within that quick note. But these are actually just a listing of all of the titles just dumped so you can quickly kind of review and see it. Similarly, if we do with the tags, uh, it lists the uh, no all the individual tags that exist in all of the different notes uh, metadata together with the counts. Now this is not a very interesting list because we've only basically added kind of one tag, one of each of these tags to kind of one file. Um, uh, but you can imagine, you know, if you've got hundreds of notes with many many different tags, this will basically give you a kind of uh, a listing of all those tags along with their counts. So that's kind of useful. Um, if you're, if you're basically using your tags in a meaningful way to kind of search and manage and organize and categorize your information. Similarly, we can see the uh, file type system. I'll use the short option F. So you can see in our exciting uh, database, we have two text files, one org note file, one markdown file. Um, uh, one of the things I've never really demonstrated is you could, uh, as I keep explaining, because it's Wibble is, um, format agnostic you know you could very well put a c++ source file it, 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 for example it, it, in a wibble note um and you know that would be registered as a cpp file and uh you know the the idea is you can literally store any type of format of note and it will be stored as is with the correct file extension so that means that when you open it with whatever editor it will be recognized as a file of type whatever and, and work accordingly uh, we can show some stats, which uh, is more interesting. So if we do stats, and it brings up this, uh, as you can see, our main note storage is 16 kilobytes. We don't yet have any archive notes because I haven't moved any notes to the, the archive. Uh, the main note data storage is uh, 3 megabytes, and uh, you know, you can see these various statistics here. We have 186 data files, so that was the the, the kind of directory that I added as a data note uh, earlier on, so that's actually got quite a lot of files in there. And it also provides information about the, um, the, the various databases and things it knows about. So that, that's the uh, stats functionality. Uh, and um, one really other, one particularly useful feature, uh, I think anyway, of the this tool functionality is this thing called um, build aliases or S. So th this is designed for, you know, as long as you use uh, the bash shell, because uh, that's what I use, it allows you to build a quick set of uh, aliases, because as you can imagine, it maybe gets a bit tedious having to constantly type wibble, uh, search, and then, you know, uh, title and then you know that's kind of quite a lot to type it would be wonderful if we could have much less to kind of type and just be able to kind of tab complete our way there so that, that's what the this uh, functionality adds so if we do wibble tool build aliases or s if you want to type that uh, 
and the idea is, as the instructions here, you know, you, you really want to pick a very, very short prefix. So by default, it defaults to with, but it, you know, if you want to put, if you want to use note instead, or even just the letter N, you can do that. Um, but I'm going to leave it on the default with. If we uh, just press enter here, it dumps all this out to standard out, and it is literally just a bash uh, shell script with a bunch of functions. Uh, so, you know, you just, uh, uh, you know, select that. Or you can use like a tool like T or whatever to redirect this out to a, a file. You know, uh, copy that and then dump it in a, a file like so. And then just basically have that kind of sourced into your bash environment. So I've already saved this just in the root directory here, you know, the wibble dot uh, bash here. So if I go ahead and do source wibble dot bash, it's added all of those aliases to my shell environment. So now if I type wib and then just tab, as you can see, we have all these ones here, and uh, the 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 basically kind of like hyphenated contractions that give you an idea exactly what command they refer to. So, for example, with journal ls, unsurprisingly, that's going to list all the journal entries. Uh, with uh, search title, guess what? That's going to search for uh, search notes by title. Um, you know, testing. And it finds the one and only entry with uh, testing as the title. Um, you know, um, web search, uh, um, you know, let's say web search uh, file type, um, let's say text, and it gives us the list of two that. So, you know, it's a, in practice, it's a lot faster just to use these tab completions and it's a full type the full command um, so th this just helps you build that set of uh, aliases there uh, you know with quick note add uh, another quick note here so it's as literally as quick as that uh, just made sure X clip is installed on here um, you know we have with task um, uh, view so, you know, just lists all those kind of tasks, you know, with, with task uh, done, uh, mark two is complete. So it's just a lot faster to type. Um, if we, you might have noticed the intrepid amongst you might have noticed there was a couple of bash functions there. We have things like with copy um, uh, title note path testing, for example. And uh, because we've got XClip installed, this is now on my uh, clipboard here. Um, so that, that's kind of pretty handy if you want to just be able to immediately access that path and, and do various things with it. So that, that points at that kind of note. Um, so you can easily, you know, do whatever you want with any tool. Um, uh, so, uh, you know, with copy title note path so let's find the uh, the actual path for that uh, and so on and so forth you know if you had a uh, I can't remember which uh, whether we had a note with some data I think we did um, search uh, title testing do we have any data attached to any of these maybe not no, 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 no. Oh yeah, another test has some data. So if we do, um, let's cancel that. If I do web uh, copy uh, title data der path another test it should match that one. And there you go. So it's it's copied the uh, the directory of that data path onto the clipboard here. Um, you know, and just to demonstrate that, paste it in. If I was to do um, what was it PC man FM. Uh, you know, it's that. So basically, you can easily access the either the the uh, path to the note or the path to the data uh, uh, via these kind of bash shell aliases. So you can imagine you can use that very conveniently in your script. So basically, these shell aliases give you that set of tab completion, so you don't have to remember everything for all of the most 
common functions and it should be pretty self-explanatory uh hopefully from the the names of the aliases here you know with add data unsurprisingly will add data uh and, and the, the other thing I should add is by default most of these are expecting that the search term that you will specify afterwards is the note title um, you know that is going to be the most uh, common kind of uh, search field uh, and, and most kind of um, convenient um, but you know if you want to use a different field then by all means it's just a simple bash uh, set of aliases uh, where's it gone? Uh, put it up in this beef pad here. Uh, you know, you can change the aliases as you see fit here or add however many more you want. Uh, the point is, this is just to get you started with a good set of most of the ones you want, and then you can add further aliases in as you see fit. Um, uh, a whip help gives you, is like a, a meta help of help. Uh, it basically gives you the help for all of the commands, all in one there. So you can see the full panoply of options.